Oh boy, we're nearing it, guys. We're nearing a PR. I think it's level... I haven't gone past level... 13, I, I suppose. So, yeah. Quite excited. Dudes, I just um, revved up the engine for Throne of Liberty. It's free to play, so check it out. It's so good. Um, I, I was just checking it out, really. Uh, I'm not going to use it for my channel, because I think one of the downsides of my channel is that I do all kinds of things at once. There's absolutely no consistency for the viewer whatsoever. So I'm going to try and focus on one thing at a time now. Uh, in terms of what I do on YouTube, right? So, uh, yeah. Anyway, here we are. Thank you. Thank you for your letter. Um, High Bone Relic, Drell Earring, Sea Creature Bones. That's all over Dean. But, as I said yesterday, I have to stay in Teldrassil to get the... Uh, Herbalism up. We just need to get it to 50, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, I don't have a lot of time, and if I die... Well, I'm not going to die. That's the thing. I'm too good. But if I were to die, then I would have to do a lot of things. I hope I die, because I got to say, let me just uh, add this. Uh, uh, remove floor registration. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Right. So, you know, responsibilities are definitely piling up. So, and I, I'm just, I'm not doing them because I'm addicted to this. So if I die now, I have to do some rigorous exercise and uh, I have a bunch of administration that I need to do. And there are some social things that I need to fix. Like I have to prepare a dinner. I have to do just real life shit. So I use Hardcore WoW to sort of challenge myself. But the thing is, I'm just too good. I, I'm not dying. Uh... Uh, I don't want to sound cocky, though, because, uh, you know, I know where that will get me. Um, but yeah, having fun, that is certainly the case. <clears throat> so, how about we find them herbs and get it up to 50? Let me show you where we're at now. Um, let me show you my skills. Herbalism is at 27. So let's, let's work on that. And, you know, kill whatever we find in the meantime. It's free XP, so let's not waste that. Earth root, right there. Oh, and that's orange, so that's probably better. How hard will that go up? Come on. Why do I keep having failed attempts? Guys! Thank you. And once I have them up till 50, then I, uh, I definitely need to do some shit. So, it'll be a short video today. Uh, but I think I am ready to not cast any D&D episodes during the WoW thingy, because I kind of train the muscle to keep you guys engaged as best as I can. Also, because I'm not DMing, 
right now the the episodes are feeling a little scarce as it were so yeah i'm saving them for uh the right vibe to watch as we play video games and shit like that uh okay here we go got the silver leaf down Oh, 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 gnarled pines. I wonder what I would do if there were really, like, if you had this, like, at the corner of your street. You know, when I was in Sri Lanka, you had these uh, movie, mo uh, movies, monkeys. And uh, feral monkeys are a motherfucker. They're like a gang that get annoyed if you sort of resist them biting you there it's it's essentially it's gangsters having rabies essentially it, it's not doable and they're they're sitting on these fucking wires looking at you like what what this is my kingdom that's how they act oh please i why oh this is a good Good moment for us to uh, actually fight them. So how about you attack them, fella? Okay. Here we are. Earth root. Let's fight him. It's free XP. Oh, that is drama. And he has the taunt down, so this is good for, you know, possible group activities. You know what I might do? If I die on this character, I actually might do the second challenge playing a different game, such as Throne and Liberty. Just have a little bit of a hardcore challenge in that game. Because I, I don't see me dying in that game at all, to be to be blunt. Uh, it's good, though. It looks good. Like, I have a pretty significant graphics card, and uh, it's as if you're playing New World, I suppose, which I guess is the benchmark for modern-day MMOs in terms of graphics. I mean... Don't get me wrong, it's not beautiful, but it looks pretty good. Ha! I was watching this video about um, where we are at with the War Within, and someone online was complaining about, get this, the graphics of WoW The War Within. Dude, listen, if you have a 2060 video card, I bet you can just play Retail WoW. There's no reason why your computer couldn't handle that shit. So, I don't know. Every time someone says world of warcraft retail looks good or is graphically impressive i'm like all right you're like one of those guys that doesn't play elven ring like i've already i already put you in a box okay now of course you're allowed not to like elven ring you're allowed to think wow looks graphically impressive but there is something of an objective sense right you can't if you have Black Myth Wukong, and then you have World of Warcraft aside, and you don't see the objective difference of the graphical fidelity of those games, yeah, something's off. Like, you treat games like uh, like a game, but not like a, a way. A game science, you know? Which is something I need to delve in when I make my MMO. <clears throat> I probably need money, though. How do you go about making your own... Game. Well, the first thing you need is probably a vision, which I have. I have a pretty cool idea. It's just going to be like, it's going to be my D&D world. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be cool, but it's just difficult. I don't know. I'm going to need a lot of AI and I'm going to need a lot of money. And I'm going to need a lot of time. And I need to uh, set up. I have a pretty good idea on how to do this. 
truthfully, I think, I think I could do it. I think I could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I was thinking. What if you have, like, um, critical role level D&D play, which introduces some of the core NPCs in the game, uh, you, you, you release some some lit RPGs that function as a game manual, thereby creating hype and traction, and then maybe a couple of mini games before you release the full thing, right? So what I'm saying there is, instead of doing what Kingdom of Amalur and ooh, the other fucker, uh, Wayfinder did, which is essentially create a single player experience that was meant to be an MMO. You you start with a single player and then you transform it into an MMO. Right? Right? Could be interesting. Right? Could be very fucking interesting. Mm -mm. That's a fucking billion dollar idea, I think. A lot of problems it has for sure but yeah could work could work i just need to know like i need to be the creative director but also i need to be the fantasy of a creative director which is essentially the guy who just says come on man let's work on your talents uh yeah I have no idea what game development is about, to be fair. I don't know. I don't really know. I think if I were to make a game, I would make sure I hired the required talent, including a game director. Like, I wouldn't do it myself. I would be the creative director. So the guy who talks about the experiences of the player and the story. And sort of sell that. But no, actual programming. I will. I will probably... I would probably try a course of programming so that I know what is going on with the pros that actually do it. Yeah. Yeah. And there is this game, right? The boot.dev thingy? I mean, why not? That would be a great episode in the background. Me trying to figure out how programming works as we play this beautiful game. I can already think of how this would work. Like, so you need an engine. See, the, here's the weird thing with WoW. Um, like, it has loading screens. So... It probably has pre-rendered things so this whole map is probably one long layer of a unity engine kind of deal right and then in all those things you have other players that can jump in now how to do that i don't know but i can i can figure out that it, this is one layered map with a couple of other players in it. Now, you add programs, which are these mobs, and they react once you get in their vicinity. I can see how that works, I guess. I also know how the questing works because when you play Total RP3, you actually get to make quests. So that's a very good start, uh, you know, for trying out making my own MMO. Maybe I'll start there. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. What am I doing? Oh yeah, we're looking for herbs. Or herbs. Because there's a fucking H in it. Somewhere over here. Where are we at with this? 
42. Okay, eight more. This is a very productive stream for me. Three. The thing I like about Hardcore is that it necessitates current level thinking. So, you know, I never cared for professions because I was like, yeah, well, then I die. Who gives a shit? But now I actually have to be kind of precise with what I'm doing. So therefore, it necessitates my professions. Even in normal WoW, I didn't even think about, like, normal classic. I'm just not doing any professions. I don't see the worth of it. Like, at all. Die. Hey! Yay. Okay, here we go. You're making such a mistake, man. Would a stalker, like a panther, would it win from a bear? I don't know. It really depends on who gets to the jugular, but I think bears... Like a bear is like a fat dog. I don't know who would win. A one on one, I think I think a big bear would probably win. Uh you never see them fight. They they tend to be well, they don't meet because they're of different climates, but maybe a mountain lion faces off with a bear every once in a while, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't it's also personality. It's like Alex Pereira versus Yol Romero. Could go either way, but you know they're they're like Yol Romero is a bear, Pereira is a tiger. Yeah, four more. We need four more. <laughs> it's a very strange fruited plant that appeared upon my vista. What is this? Sure. Free XP for us. We are all about that. I think after I'm finished with WoW. Uh, I'll probably do a little, sort of a hardcore run through all the MMOs I've played. Um, I've played after WoW. I think the first thing I played was Guild Wars Two or the other one, Conan. Uh, Co uh, fuck, what was it called again? I think it was called Age of Conan. That was a good game, by the way. Yeah, I played that before I played Guild Wars 2, actually. So I will play that, then Guild Wars 2. After Guild Wars 2, which released in 2008, I think the first MMO... Oh yeah, there was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, yep. Then it was Elder Scrolls Online. After Elder Scrolls Online, I played Final Fantasy XIV. That's the one I played longest after WoW. Then I returned to WoW. And I believe I played a little bit of Black Desert Online, as well as Mortal, Com Mortal Online 2. Yeah. And then now Throne of Liberty. So yeah, I played a bunch of shit. 
but never for long. The only thing I played for long after WoW was definitely Final Fantasy XIV. Oh yeah, and of course, Chronicles of Spellborn. That's the first one I'm going to feature uh, on this channel, I think. Never touched Lords of the Rings online, by the way. I'm pretty curious about that one as well. And apparently the Warhammer Fantasy game is pretty good. So I might just do all those. Have fun with them, you know? No! Alright, we're almost ready to depart for Darnassus, up our herbalism skills, and then we can safely level in Darkshore. Ah, oh, Jesus, it's, already, it's so late already. In about four hours, I need to have, like, 12 things done, and I haven't done one of them. Uh, I could have done them all, but I just don't want to. I probably have to shave my head, though. And I have to do... I, I do have to remove the floor. Do so much shit. Hey, where's the guy? Denalan, right? Well, I have a quest. Whoa! Yo! Whoa! Whoo! All right. Jesus. I'm out. Okay. Now, we're not gonna go to Aberdeen because first we need to eat an aubergine. <laughs> no. No, no. We need to go to Darnassus to train our herb skill. So let's do that first before we head off. Oh, man. I'm looking for... And, and by the way, on the road there, we will definitely keep up with our herbalism. We, because that needs a boost. I have to go left at one point. Oh, you bitch. Chloe. Does add a whole new... I, I say this all the time when I start a new character. Starting with professions add a, adds a whole new dimension to the game that you just tend to forget as you go along because you're so focused on gaining experience that the whole herb gathering just seems unworthy of it. So these quests I'm going to ignore because I want to I want to get out of Telbrasil. I don't want to stay here. I want to go to Aberdeen. <clears throat> So I suppose you could just make a level with Unity, and then you have this long stretch. I was thinking of, like, how would that work in the Eastern Kingdoms? Because that one is... That one is confusing. Because when you take the Griffin, you can see the whole layout, which you cannot reach as a player, but it's still a whole stretch of things. Wait, my fucking Roomba's going off. Hold up. 
So with the Griffin writing, that shows me that probably the whole map is pre-rendered. That's that's the impressive thing about Griffin writing. Um, now, I do think it's relatively easy to make it because the Griffin is a predestined flight. So you can't really interact with anything other than that. So they only have to make this layer work and then you you know the camera angle doesn't go too far back so you have like this as your camera angle and then you add these big fucking models which creates this density in the world and then it also makes sure that it doesn't look too much stretched out but this like this is just you just click on the engine and you go up and you like you make a hill it's not that difficult but they use these big models to avert your eyes from this relatively easy modeling, I guess. But, you know, then again, you, I'm not quite sure why they make these fucking hills. Why would they do that? This is definitely the interesting thing about, like, here. Like, did they start with the map first? And then, out of that, they created this? Or was it the other way around? Probably, they started with this, probably. Actually. It actually makes sense. Everything starts with a map, guys. I should re-watch the making of World of Warcraft to figure out how they did that. Hey, chicks! Man, it's populated. Look for an experienced raiders of any class. Join a dedicated raiding guild with a tight community. Most key KT kills on the server. Fuck. Monday, Friday is progress. Wednesday, Saturday, Subaru, Ankarai, Molten Core. Whoa. Jesus. You went through the... He's a rogue then? No, he's a hunter. So, but yeah, I don't know how he does that. I have no idea. See, that's my fucking trauma at work i couldn't get past the wetlands at level 12 and my character died to a crocodile of course but still whenever i see like a out of zone character go through here i'm, I'm kind of impressed I'm like okay so yeah you paid attention Honestly, well, when I was a teenager, I kind of looked like this. But now that I'm 30, bald and hairy, except for the top of my head, I kind of look like this. Uh,
You can make me a journeyman in herbalism. Thank you. Give me a file. Uh, yeah, I want that. I need more fucking things. Don't, don't sell yourself like that. Be mysterious, man. Yeah, let's go for this one. Then let's sell a couple of things while we're at it. Oh, you can't do that together? Okay, sure. Let's exhaust our herbal, our alchemy skill as well, because they're kind of tied together. This probably also needs to get to. Uh, this probably also needs to get to uh, to fifty. I, I reckon. I am careful. Thank you. Yeah, let's do that one. And let's make this one. Oh, that's a first. I'm out of silver leaf. Now, I'm scared that in order for me to do some alchemy in Aberdeen, I'm guessing my alchemy needs to be at 50, and I'm afraid there won't be any peace bloom or silver leaf over there. So I'm going to go to that guy, because this is pretty cool. Look, armor increased by 50. Regenerate two health every five seconds for one hour. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. As a passive in the background. So, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing that happening. And then as well, you know, having those things up and then be a bear. Jesus. Jesus. I do think, yeah, you need a profession day. Like, uh, a profession stream, as it were. Yeah. Cooking. Argent Dawn. It's beneath Argent Dawn, so it's right here. Hello. Hello. Give me. Give me that as well. We want all this. Uh, okay, what do we need for this? Mage Royal and Silver Leaf. Okay. So let's see if we have those things in Overdeen. I'm afraid we don't. Which would keep us remaining here for a while but that's okay I'm gonna rock your body anyway So let's do the uh, highborn relic quest. 
and look for herbs around here to see if we can't use that. Oh! All right, a fight. I'm not at all impressed with the bear form. Yeah, all right, fuck it. This is way stronger. Get fucked. Let's go to the shores. I'm looking for the quest locations. I'm pretty sure the sea creature bones are at the shore. In the meantime, we will fight off any assailants we come across. Look at that. As I'm walking, I'm regaining health because of the troll potion. Yeah. Beached creature bones. We have a murloc. Wait, let's buff up. More murlocs. I don't like murlocs. Got water. Let's go. Got a bail. You know, I'm also out of mana, so this would never work. Outrun them. There we go. <clears throat> we are at the right spot, however. Did that fucker just respawn? I think he did. Definitely should use my moon fire a bit more actively. Yo! Enough with the running. Get fucked. <clears throat> All right, time for these bones to be picked.
Jesus. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I have a plan. Oh, it costs mana to... Tr Jesus, attack! <gasps> no! 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 Fuck. Oh my god. I feel like crying. Ah. 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 Death tarnishes Pandarva's soul. Well, there you have it, guys. Now I have to do a shitload of work, as well as kettlebells, Dumbbells, deadlifts. Look at the description so you can see where I'm fucking at. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ah, oh, Jesus.